This is a lapping tool. It's made up of three separate pieces. You have the lap itself, which is a yellow color. You have the holder that gets mounted in a drill chuck, and you have the adjustment screw. The adjustment screw has a tapered body on it. As you screw it in, it increases the diameter of the lap, giving you the adjustability you need to lap a variety of different sizes. The first thing you're going to want to do is check the hole size with a gauge pin to determine how much you have to lap. This hole is about eight ten thousandths of an inch undersize. Lapping is not made to take off a lot of material, so you want to be pretty close to your finish size before you start. Next, you're going to make sure that the lap goes through the hole. If the lap is too large, adjust it a little smaller so it goes through the hole. Next, mount the lap in the drill chuck. This is the lapping compound that I'm using. All I'm doing here is opening up a hole to the proper size. The surface finish really doesn't matter. So this is just a medium grade. If you're lapping a hole and you need a super fine finish, you're gonna need to go with a finer lapping compound. Next, I will add the compound to the lap. To adjust the lap to the proper size, you need to hold the drill chuck from moving and then take some pliers or a crescent wrench and turn the screw until the lap is the size you want. You should feel some resistance between the lap and the workpiece. If you don't feel any resistance, make the lap a little larger. The smaller the lap, the more rapidly it will wear away, so constant adjustments are necessary. If the lap is squealing like a pig, then it's too large and you need to adjust it a little smaller. Thoroughly clean the hole with a Q-tip and some acetone. If the hole's a little larger, you can use a rag or a paper towel. Then recheck with a gauge pin. This hole is still a bit too tight. It needs a bit more lapping. Now I'm going to make the lap a little larger and continue on. Clean off the lapping compound again. And recheck. This time the hole fits perfect. If you have any questions, please post them down below and I will answer all your questions. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.